So, remember about a month ago, I talked about how it was announced that we were getting a new uh, Zorro TV show uh, from Disney, to be on Disney+. Plus. Well, there's another Zorro show. That's the, that's the beauty of having an Implomook Domain character, is that you can, you know, have multiple people do these, uh, do these kind of things. And yes, the CW is going to be doing a a Zorro TV show of their own. Yes, the CW. Yeah. <laughs> but now before you sigh, before you sigh, hear me out cuz the act cuz what I was like, ugh, the first time I saw the news, but then I saw who was going to be in charge of the Zorro show. It's going to be Robert Rodriguez and Rebecca Rodriguez, his sister. They're going to be both writing and producing. They're going to be the showrunners for at least the first season. So, Robert Rodriguez has had his hand with Zorro stuff. I think he did help with the... Didn't he do the... Like, I know for I know he was connected to Zorro somehow. I, I want to say he directed the first Zorro movie in the 90s with Banderas, but I think, I, I think I'm wrong. <laughs> I think I'm wrong. Um... But yeah, this is a so, and also this will not be a male Zorro. This will be a female Zorro. And I know what you're like, so, like before anyone says, "Oh, that's so woke." Yeah, slow your rolls. First off, we this isn't the first time we've had a female Zorro. Female Zorro has been around since the early '90s and still a big character over in Dynamite Comics. Um, now the description is kind of weird, though. I will say that this is a little bit odd. Um, reason, um, <laughs> reason being is because, um, the reason being is because it sounds a little like Assassin's Creed. No, no, wait, let me, I read the description. Let me, let me try to tell, uh, say this out to you. So the show centers around a young woman who is uh, trying to f avenge her father's death. And in doing so, she joins a secret society and takes on the mantle of Zorro. That's Assassin's Creed. That's literally, it's literally like Assassin's Creed, isn't it? Like, yeah, it's it's it feels like the same thing. So this is this is apparently not. Now they didn't say if or if not this woman is this young girl is part of the De La Vega bloodline, but I would assume so. If not, maybe that's kind of also a cool idea that because that's the idea of Zorro because that's what Zorro wanted was that Zorro to be an ideal. You know, that's what De La Vega wanted. If there was going to be another Zorro, then that blood... It doesn't have to be Bloodline. It can be... Zorro could be anyone. Yeah, that's the idea, is that Zorro, much like Batman, is an ideal. Like, anyone can just put on the mask and fight for these... Fight for, pe fight for the people. So, yeah, even if she's not, this woman is not connected to the De La Vega Bloodline, I still think that's kind of cool. I do think she's probably going to be... They're going to reveal that she is related to De La Vega at some point. I have no doubt about that, but I think it'd be a ballsy move if they said, nah, she's not related to... She's not part, uh, part of the De La Vega bloodline. Also, why is there a secret society connected to Zorro? <laughs> like, maybe like it's a secret society who's been inspired by Zorro and they have like they per ter make someone each century like into the next Zorro as like their face for the organization kind of like Azrael and Saint the Brotherhood of Saint Dumas that could be the case actually I'm almost expecting it to be the case <laughs> cuz CW can be uh, like they can be you know CW and you know do comic book stuff without trying to make it too comic booky um so, let's also talk about the elephant in the room. Yes, like I said earlier, this is going to be on the CW. Like, let's just let's just get that out of the way. This is um this is going to be the CW. And yeah. Now, the other thing is we don't know if this is going to be a thing. Remember when they said that power that live action Powerpuff Girls show and then we saw the leak which apparently was real. I wasn't going to talk about the leak script for Powerpuff Girls, but then that leak did turn out real, so yikes. Um, then they had um, there was even supposed to be a Friday the Thirteenth uh, TV show on CW, which I didn't like. I didn't like that idea um, because I knew it wasn't going to be gory enough. 
I'm not saying it wasn't going to work. I'm just saying like it's it was on a public TV show. It was not going to get it wasn't going to get away with much. It wasn't going to get away with much. And actually, what put real put the kibosh on it was not so much the idea behind it, but like the legal war for Jason between Cunningham and Miller. So I don't put much. I don't put a lot of uh, point fingers at CW. But yes, this is the CW, so you have to expect, like, oh, the dreamy guy and the dreamy girl have to get together. And then there's another person there, it's a love triangle, and it's it's all weird, and everyone just gets into a shipping war. But on the other hand, you know, there is good on the CW, like Supernatural, for one. You have, you know, Riverdale is still good. Like, everyone talks about Riverdale, but everyone just talks shit about it because of how bonkers apparently it is now. Um, and there's been other good shows. Uh, DC, uh, the DCCW stuff, for all its bullshit, it's still going strong. I mean, you do, like it may be. I may not be a fan of it these days, but like, <laughs> it's apparently doing something right. If it's getting 18 spinoffs, so I am interested in this uh, all in all. But you guys tell me in the comments below what do you guys think of a new Zorro TV show by Robert Rodriguez and his sister. Just comment below, let me know, and once again, if you haven't already, hit the link below to my Patreon. But other than that, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.